Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a web page in Adobe Express. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the purple plus button. And when I do that, I can click any one of these that have this kind of web page icon. And then I'm going to start by giving it a title. And then if I like, I can add a subtitle. And once you've given it a title, you can click on this plus button down here at the bottom. And when you do that, it's going to ask you how you want to do your cover. So if you want to do a full photo or a short cover that has a photo or a split layout, I usually just like to go with a photo here. And so just like before, you can either upload a photo or you can find free photos here. So I'm just going to show how you can search for a photo inside Adobe. And I'm just going to select this one. Okay. And so that's how easy it is to get started. So I'm going to start scrolling down. And when I do, this kind of toolbar pops up and it says, what would you like to add? And so I can add a photo, a text, a button that leads to a, another web page or to a website. I can add a video. I can do a photo grid, a glide show, or I can split the layout between a text and a photo. So I'm just going to add a photo here. And again, this time I'm going to upload a photo and um, let's do this one. Okay. And so then I've got a couple of different options here of how I want that photo to be placed on the web page. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do in line. And if I scroll up, I get another plus button. So if I wanted to put something in front of that, I could, or I can scroll down and now I have another plus button that just gives me that same toolbar. Okay. So I'm actually going to go up and click on the plus button and I can add some text here. Well, once I have my text here, if I click on it, I can actually change that. I can make it bold. I can change um, the heading to heading two or heading one, uh, depending on kind of the theme that I've chosen right here. And then I can center it. I can have all these kind of different uh, text editing options here. So now if I scroll back down, I can just add some more things. I want to show you what a photo grid looks like. So you can add different photos just to kind of make a collage. You can do this by searching for photos or uploading photos. So I'm just going to go to upload and I'm going to click um, on a couple. It makes that grid for me. I can always move them around. I can replace. I can um, make a photo large. I can move it backward, move it forward, or I can delete it. Okay, I feel like this is really large. So now that I have my photo grid in, I can just click off of it. And I can click save right here. And now I can add a caption if I would like, but if I continue to scroll, I get the same toolbar options. I'm going to show you what the glide show looks like. So you want to add a few background photos to your glide show. Think of it like a slideshow that has photos as the background. So since I already have flowers, I'm just going to select these that have flowers and I'm going to select a couple. And then all I have to do once I've selected my photos is click save. And now it puts it into kind of like a slideshow. And I've got this kind of gray box right here. If I click on the plus button, I can add another photo or text. I can add a button. I can add a video just to kind of give some more depth to my uh, web page. And so just like before, if I click on the text, I have all the text editing options as well. So I can center that and maybe give it 
the heading to. And then I also have the plus buttons here if I want to add something else, or I can add something else to the top in front of the text here. And so once you are finished building your web page, you would first preview it to make sure it looks how you want. So I'm going to click on preview so you can see a little bit of what that looks like. So I'm going to scroll back up to the top. And then I have my six word memoir. Here is my uh, kind of collage, your photo grid, and then my glide show. And then it gives me credits of all of the images that I used that I pulled from Adobe Express. Now, if I am happy with that, I'm going to click on the little X and then I can click share and share that link. Or if I'm ready to present it, uh, however, I'm going to present it in front of class or anything, I can just click present.